Linux Mint comes pre-installed with a lot of great fonts. They're great for letter writing and basic graphic design, and I do use them. But I also like to get a little creative, be a little different. So I'm always looking for unique fonts to install on my system. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I keep track of my fonts, where I get the new fonts from, and how I install the new ones I get. So I'm going to show you two ways to install fonts in your system. The first way is manual. And the reason why I want to show this is because it's always good to know where everything is located. So many times programs will do things arbitrarily in the background and you don't know what happened. So what I want to do is before I show you uh, how a program will install the fonts for you, I want to show you manually how to do it yourself. The first thing you'd have to do, though, is download fonts either way. So I like this website called fontspace.com. I mean, it's got 130,000 plus free fonts. So I can't imagine uh, if I'm looking for a font, I wouldn't be able to find one on here. So when you first come up here, you have a search bar here. Let's say that I'm looking for a script font. So I just type that in. And all the script fonts come up. Now, you notice on the right-hand side here where it's a download button, it says free for personal use. Now, that's great, but let's say that I'm designing something for like a wedding or whatever, and I want to use it for commercial. There's a little button right here that you click that says commercial use, and it'll weed out all of the other ones. And you'll notice now it says 100% free next to each font. So let's suppose I find one here that I like, uh, like this Hanford script. Okay, if I want to download it, I just click on the download button. And it's done. So after I've downloaded the fonts that I want, let's say this dancing script. Let's download that one too. So now I have two in my downloads folder. So I have them here. All I have to do is right click and hit extract here on each one of them. And now I've got them in their own folder. Now to install these manually, it's very simple. Just move this aside here. We open up another window and we go to our file system. We go to USR, share, and then there's a folder in here called fonts. Now, I could just drop these in here if I wanted to, uh, or I could put them in their, their correct folder. For instance, I've got a true type font and I've got an open type font right here, these two. I could just drop them in to these folders here, but I don't want to do that because I like to know which fonts I've installed. These are all the system fonts that came with Linux Mint. So I want to create a folder called personal. So I need to have elevated privileges. So I right click in the folder and I click open as root. And so once it's opened as root, now you'll notice it says elevated privileges. Now I can right click new folder, personal, whoops, personal. Now I can drop these two in here. So if I go to so if I go to, let's say, LibreOffice Writer, and I just type in test, um, I go to here, and you'll notice that Hanford script is right there, and dancing script is also in there, right there. So I have both of those right there. Very simple to do, easy to install. So the second way I'm going to show you is with a program called Font Manager. So if you go to your software manager here and type in type in Font M, Font Manager is right here. Now I've already got it pre-installed. So when you first open this program, you'll notice on the left it says All and System and User. Now I installed three fonts uh, manually. And so it knows that I installed three manually, but it doesn't show up as user. You'll notice it says 269 and 266. So it shows three were installed apart from the system fonts, which are the ones that were pre-installed. But it didn't show up in user. So if you install your fonts manually, it will show up here as all, but it won't show in the user. If you want it to show in the user, you have to install them through the software. So let me show you how to do that. So if we go back to font space, and let's pick a font here. Let's go um, uh, matcha. And we download this to the downloads folder. Now, when I download this, I don't have to unzip it or extract it. 
because this program will do it for me. So now it's in the downloads folder. I hit the plus button up here, go to downloads and matcha. And there it is. And if there's any variations, it will show up underneath it here. So um, if there were regular bold italic, it'll still only show up as one font and then different variations of it. So every font that I install through this program are going to show up here in user. And you'll notice it bumped it up to all 270. So one thing that this software does also, it'll install Google fonts for you. So if you go up here to this G, it'll take you to all of the Google fonts. And if you want to install one, you just click on it. Let's say Alexandria. And then you hit download family and it's already there now. So if I click on the G again, it takes me back. And you'll notice this says I have four. There's Alexandria right there. And if I click on the little arrow, it gives me all of the variations in that. And here's the preview window down here. So if you're looking for a, uh, you know, a piece of software that you can manage all of your fonts, you can remove them, you can add fonts, and you can uh, you know, sort them and see which ones that you've installed yourself, then this is a great piece of software, Font Manager. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. All right, we'll catch you later.